Hello, and welcome to episode 23 of my Colony Survival Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on placing and showing a finery forge and a lot of other stuff, including research and the continued development of my colony. Um, the finery forge, you remember, I started researching in the last episode, and so that's obviously now finished. Um, I needed to give it some time because I wanted to see how my stockpile was doing. Was my iron keeping up now? And the good news is, if we take a look, um, you know the rivets and the wrought iron, they're used for making lanterns as well. And I decided I want to use lanterns from now on instead of torches. Uh, lanterns look much nicer than torches when placed on the ground. On the walls, I agree, maybe the torches look nice as in medieval look to it, makes you look like a castle, but I still prefer the lanterns because they give off more, much more light. So in order to get the white lanterns, which is what I want to get a load of now, um, I'm having to first devote uh, up to it, I've had to increase the, my lanterns, which is another taxing on my rivets and wrought iron. But if we look at my ingots you'll see my iron has nearly got to a thousand so i'm nearly there i mean basically it was there they just eat it up though before quick as anything so that's my copper tin bronze and iron very nearly on the thousand mark so they're all done there's two things i'm now aware of that are now being taxed heavily one is my log my logs they're going down now, now that I'm using up lots more wood on charcoal. So I'm going to do two more farms, which um, I've got the ground ready, prepared, because you don't want to see me putting dirt and blocks down. So I've done, prepared them. So I'm going to do two more farms and also sort out my food, my bread. I know I've got a ton there, but I, you know, I'm going by numbers here. And I'll, this is at 5,000 of flour. So... If I do, I'm going to do two more uh, bakers, baking ovens, and that hopefully then should get this, bring this up more in line. But I want to now try and get all of these to 4,000, so that means bread. So two farms and two more ovens. That's what I want to do first of all, as you can s I'll show you. And then we'll see if a finery forge has been made yet. So I can place that and we can take a look. So up here you'll see I've prepared two more places for two more tree farms. So let's do that. So forester. One. Oops. Torches in the way. And there's two. So we're going to want two more beds. And two more colonists. Okay, so all these extra colonists I've been making, about time I started on the food side of things. So two more. Ovens next. And you know what? I'm going to start, like I say, using all these crates I've placed around. Make use of the space. Why not? So let's see. Where's the ovens? There's the ovens. I'm just going to try two for now and see how they get on. There's two. Okay, two more beds are in order. Good job you can just walk through the beds. <laughs> right, okay, and two more colonists. Okay, that gets me to 110 colonists, so we'll be able to see whether a new zombie now appears at that uh, at 
that uh, rank of 110 colonists. Now, I just wanted to mention something. In the research, planning ahead, okay, it, the game just, I can't excite, uh, get across to you just how much fun it becomes when you get past 100 colonists because you're having to watch all your stockpile, work out all your stuff. And one thing it's easy to forget about and neglect is your radius. Um, so what I'm talking about with that is it was for no uh, odd reason that I placed all my farms in a square, okay, as you can see, around the, underneath the middle of my colony. The reason for that, of course, is the radius. Because if I dig too far out in one direction, away from my banner, zombies can then suddenly spawn there. And they'll all start coming in from underground. So, I think I'm at about my limit going all around. I might not be. I'm just. This is just a rough estimate, guesstimate. Um, but I suspect that. So that's why with my, you have to be careful with your mine, that you don't go too far out in one direction. Hence as well why with my mine you'll notice I weave back and forth. So let's show you down here, for example, my tin and copper goes that direction. But then I go down the stairs and this one goes that direction. Go down the stairs. You can see I've expanded all of these. That goes that direction and down here. So that's ensuring I'm staying within my banner radius. Um, because as my number of columnists increases, so will my mine size have to. Fortunately, there is that research to do to increase the radius. And that would be brilliant because that means then I can expand even further out. So yeah, now the next thing I want to do is my wall. Um, because I want to do the same thing as what I did there. Makes much more sense. So if I come around, and I'll try and do this before it gets to night time, otherwise things could get messy. So what I was thinking is, uh, build a wall across here. punch a hole through here and so that gets them into this ring which now means I need to um, block off this bit. Let's see where should I block it off? Here maybe. As long as I don't see that thing up here saying you've gone into siege mode. Right, so that means now they're gonna walk all the way around to the other side where they get in there and then I could block this off as well so if they get into there moment they can go in either direction. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, let's check the zombies, see if there's any new zombies appearing at 110 colonists. And let's hope they're not too nasty if they are there is. Yeah, 
Okay, so at 110 colonists, it, we're still red eye is the strongest. The zombies with the red eyes. Looks like at 110 colonists, they're still strong. But it could be that there's any one of this new creature type spawning. Um, let's check my inner room. I want to make sure that they're not getting through. I oh, mind you, they've got to come down here, so I'll see them coming around that way. There is a lot getting in now, and there's some fast ones. See how far they're getting. Oh no, they're not getting past this point. So this means that they've got to come around that way. Yeah, no, I'll probably just do an out, another out of wall next. So I didn't see any new colonists, so that's... Um, any new zombie types, so that's good. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is a wall around the outside, but I might be at my radius limit at the moment. I doubt it, actually. I should know. I should be have plenty of room to do another outer wall, and I want to try and do them like this, nice and wide apart, so I can do uh, walls going over and then put an archer in the middle. And then that way, when they're having to go around these rings multiple times, that um, crossbow is just going to be taking them out from all the different sides if you can see them. Not sure how that works. Whether I have to place one at the intersections there with the crossbow maybe from here he'll be able to see out there, here and here so that's a good spot I think on the cross points right okay so let's check the stockpile see what's going on is my log templates going up still looks like it's going that well I suppose the tree farms are going to take a while um, Rivets and raw iron is looking good because I've set them to a limit of 500 each, so that's going up. Uh, iron ingots, well, you can see plenty of them. Silver's slowly creeping up. The reason this silver's slowly creeping up is because they're focusing on the creating the iron ingots before the silver. I prioritised the iron because at the moment I don't really see silver as being that important to me. There's nothing that silver is going to do for me. Okay, let's see. We're expecting as well the two extra ovens to hopefully kick in. But you generally have to give it a little while, especially something like this, before you can see the true effect. I don't want to react too soon to find out that all my flour gets wiped out. Will mean I get a lot of loads, of course. Okay, so. Oh, let's do the Finery Forge. After all, that is supposed to be what this episode's about. Let's see, have they made one? Yeah, there we are. There's your Finery Forge. Right, let's check out what it needs. Sorry I've left it so late in the episode to show this. I got uh, a bit carried away, as you do, with Colony Survival. It's just such pure fun. Pure, unadulterated fun. Right, Finery Forge go here. That won't be easy for me to find it in the future. Uh, let's face it this way. And now let's take a look at what does it do for us. So, ah, right, it creates steel ingots, which need two raw iron. So, there we go. I'm going to need to whack my raw iron to a thousand. And gold ingots. And cokes. It, they, these both use cokes. Which is okay because my cokes have been building up, not been used to set them to a thousand. Um, steel rule ingots. I'm going to be needing them, I think. So let's set them to. You know what? A thousand. Why not? I don't know. That might need to gradually step that up, actually. Let's do 500. Right. 
So let's do another bed. Yeah, spacing them out. I've just basically wasted space. I should have just crammed all the beds together, never mind. And another colonist. Bet he's going to be going straight to bed, no doubt. So, with that, taxing my raw iron <coughs> it's a good idea if I now do my raw iron not that one there we go, bronze anvil there's my raw iron so let's whack that to a thousand rivets should be alright on 500 They're keeping all my um, ammo topped up to what I've set them to, so that's cool, that's keeping up. Um, how's my iron ore? Oh wow, well, I need many more iron miners. Let's see, let's do five iron miners. Yes, you heard me right. What's the point of doing them one at a time? Let's do five at a time. So five iron miners. See why I expanded all this out now. Uh, is there any space not? Yeah, here, really. Got a couple of beds here. them miners yeah two would be good here because I've got a chest there so one two chest oh no glad it's easy to pick these up up there oh here's another one and one more. Oh, look at that. Right, there we go. So now we want five more columns. Oh, wait a minute. They probably ain't made the, mic the picks. Into, oh no, I've got them. Right. Now, so it'll be interesting to see will they keep up sufficiently now? Set to a thousand, and that should be enough of a buffer. Um, let's just look in here. So, yeah, mate, he's been working on the finery forge. So, now I should also see steel ingots and gold ingots. And guess what number I need to set them to? Well, actually, no, I'm not sure if I need a thousand of each getting extreme because I might overtax one of my resources of the wood or the planks or I need to get that iron up that's for sure the iron ore that is that's much too low as long as my ammo's at a thousand that's the most important and is the bread the bread's still slow Mm, I'll see how that gets on a little bit. It's going up. Okay. Let's go, well, as it's night, let's go see if there's any new zombies. Might have been the 
trigger is 115, I don't know. Go check. Search finish. Oh, it did. So, ah, next is the gunsmith. Okay, let's start the research for that. Oh, can I even do it? Yeah, you need the finery forge and military science bags, which I have. And that's where the lead is going to come in, of course, and especially for the. Maybe for the gunpowder as well, the lead, I don't know, we'll see. But I've got all of that. And my research has started. That's cool. They can go on the outer wall. Right. Oh, is that a yellow eye? Is that a new one? Mind you, he died. He had a green top on. I think it's done by their eyes. These are red, they're white. They're yellow with the green tops. So no, we've seen the yellow already. They're dying too quickly. So I wonder what colour eyes next. Maybe green. getting awfully crowded out there but I guess that's still nothing compared to what it can get to. I mean how's this going to look when I get to a thousand colonists? Do you even think I'm going to make it to a thousand? It could be I slip up with the radius and they all spawn in underneath my base and then I will be totally slaughtered. One little mistake could end it all. But I can't see any new Zombies, the green one top ones we see a while back. Let's just check if they're getting any further. Would appear not. I'm going to have to start chiseling that mountain away a bit more to prepare for the next outer wall. And maybe I move <clears throat> I'll move the lanterns into oh, I don't need to move them actually if I put a wall there and then move the lanterns further out once I get that next ring of walls. Or maybe put the lanterns in the actual wall. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Have they done me any white lanterns yet? Yeah, we've got thirty. Oh, they only go to a stack of 25. I'll keep some torches just in case, but let's try this out. So let's put a lantern here. Yeah, because it gives light to both sides and the top. Now that's what you call making good use of a lantern. So I'm going to build them into the walls from now on. Maybe that can be the line for my next wall. Yeah, that'd be perfect. I'll just build the wall over them. We can see how that looks. I'm going to get all creative on you. Though it'll look a right creative mess. But we'll see. So yeah, I've got a lot of digging to do. And don't worry, I will do it off camera. But all of this is going. Yeah, look, let's just check this out. Yeah, I like that. You've got to love the lanterns. And then I can get rid of all these torches off the top of my wall. I wonder if I can place a guard down on top of a lantern. How my mind works, eh? Let's see. So, guard. Yeah, you can. 
How cool is that? I can put a guard on top of my lantern so I'll be able to see him easily enough because he'll be glowing and that should scare the zombies when they see glowing guards. Yeah, I like the sounds of that. So I'm going to have to go around my walls. Ripping the walls up and putting lanterns down. Although it's probably going to take me a while before I can get enough lanterns to do this. They all use iron. Not just like, but loads and loads down, in fact. And I think it looked pretty cool. It could do different colored lanterns, but wow, does it look a mess. My place, but it's functional. I'm still alive. There, that's what I'm going to say in future. And I'll criticize myself for the fact that I can't be creative to save my life. I'll satisfy myself with the fact that I'm still living. Though, I'm not sure how long that will be. I'm doing good at the moment. There's my tree farm, so... I must have enough wood now, because I've doubled my wood production. So, definitely going to have enough wood. Okay, let's see. So, we've only got a little time left. Um, let's check the stockpile, see how it's getting on. So that's working its way to 3,000, but I'd like 4,000. Let's slowly drain that down from 5,000. So I think I'm going to need more farms soon. Let's go do four more farms. we got a little time left. enough food, that's what I always say, wheat farmer. Oh, and I can do the lanterns down there in the ground instead of the torches as well. They won't get in my way. One. Two. Yeah, see where the torches? Four, right, four more beds. I wish you could shift click them into your stockpile. But you can't. Let's grab a load more beds. I've got enough crates. Have I got enough room? Oh yeah, I've got a whole row for the beds. This is cool. Right, okay, that's the beds. Four more colonists. Oh, and there's the timer. So, four more. 
that puts me to 120 coal nests. Um, right, okay, I better end the episode here because the trouble with uh, colony survival is I can't stop playing it and I'll get carried away. Last In the last episode was a classic example of what happens. Uh, the timer goes, I just switch it off and because I'm just enjoying myself so much I just carry on playing and then that's dangerous. I could end up with an hour long episode and I don't think you'd like that somehow. So I'll end it here whilst I've remembered the time has gone and in the next episode we will be checking out Gunsmiths. How cool will that be to see the next stage? Although I'll be making the guns but I still have to do gunpowder etc and then later on the match lock so we'll be looking at the gunsmith shop that's pretty much all. But that's another episode and hopefully it will be a good one. Wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day and in the next episode we'll have a look if at 120 colonists we get a new zombie type. Goodbye.